Are you aware of the danger of misinformation and disinformation in the age of information overload? From the deliberate spread of false information to the unintentional sharing of inaccurate news, it's important to understand the impact that false information can have. Join us as we explore some interesting facts about misinformation and disinformation and learn how we can combat it. We live in an age of information overload, where news, opinions and rumors are constantly being shared on social media and the internet. But not all information is created equal. In fact, some of it can be intentionally misleading or false. In this video, we'll explore some interesting facts about misinformation and disinformation. First, let's define our terms. Misinformation is false or inaccurate information that is unintentionally spread. Disinformation, on the other hand, is the deliberate spreading of false or misleading information. It's often used as a tactic for propaganda or to sow confusion and mistrust. One interesting fact is that the rise of social media has made it easier than ever for misinformation and disinformation to spread. According to a 2021 report by the Pew Research Center, around 70% of Americans use social media. And a 2020 study found that misinformation and disinformation related to the flu season of 2020 were shared on social media platforms more than any other topic. But it's not just social media where we can find misinformation and disinformation. Traditional media like newspapers and television can also be a source. One study found that more than a third of news articles about the 2016 US presidential election was misleading. Another interesting fact is that people are often more likely to believe information that confirms their existing beliefs, even if it's false. This is known as confirmation bias and it can make it challenging to correct misinformation and disinformation once it's been shared. So, what can we do to combat misinformation and disinformation? One effective strategy is to fact-check information before sharing it. There are many fact-checking websites and tools available like Snopes and factcheck.org. Additionally, it's important to be mindful of our own biases and to seek out information from a variety of sources. While blocking and censoring can be effective in limiting the spread of misinformation and disinformation, it's not always the best approach. In fact, open discussion can be a more effective way to combat false information in the long run. When people are blocked or censored, it can reinforce their beliefs and make them more likely to seek out and share information from alternative sources. This can create an echo chamber, where people only hear information that confirms their existing beliefs. On the other hand, Open discussion allows for a diversity of perspectives and the opportunity to challenge false information with facts and evidence. When people are presented with accurate information and given the opportunity to engage in open discussion, they may be more likely to revise their beliefs and share accurate information with others. Of course, open discussion isn't a magic solution. It requires a willingness to listen to others, consider evidence, and engage in respectful dialogue. It also requires a commitment to seeking out diverse perspectives and challenging our own biases. In short, while blocking and censoring can be a quick fix for limiting the spread of misinformation and disinformation, open discussion is a more effective long-term solution. By engaging in open discussion and challenging false information with facts and evidence, we can work to promote accurate and trustworthy information. In conclusion, while misinformation and disinformation can be concerning, we have the power to combat them by being informed and discerning consumers of information. By fact-checking and seeking out diverse sources, we can help ensure that accurate and trustworthy information prevails. Thanks for watching.